and say good morning to Matt. Good morning, Matt. Good morning. Probably could have done with a bit more crew here. The way the ID came about was during a brainstorm we had uh, in my office with a couple of my colleagues. Um, I came up with the original idea of having an F1 car on the surfboard and then it kind of snowballed into a, a much bigger idea. It was very much of a team effort to come up with the whole storyboard and what we were going to do with the stunt. The original reaction to my idea was, yes, you're crazy, and then, no, it's not feasible. From the moment the project was approved to now, we're talking weeks, about four or five weeks maximum. We're right on the edge, but that's where we want to be. We had to commission uh, the build of a bespoke surfboard. Many, many things could have gone wrong. definitely up there with the more crazy uh, of the ideas we came up with and when it's seen out there, when everyone gets to see what we've been doing, it's, it, it's something different, no one else is doing this. Yeah, it's been, it's been cool, it's the first time I've sort of had to, to act. I'm not ever going to be the best actor in the world, but that's fine, you know, I got, got through this alright. I've never seen a board that big, let alone race car on top of it, like it's quite wild. <laughs> Today is a pretty different role to what I'm used to. So we're in Australia, so what better way to bring in a new car than on a surfboard? For us to prep the car, we're going to put some extra flotation in it. You know, in the event we get a rogue wave that tips us over. And we're told by surf guys that what we're trying to do is impossible. All I need is someone like that. I'm just, just watching the rig to see if it's floating. What's all happening? Incredible. Crazy. Renault is trying to show its passion for life, so we're trying to combine the Formula 1 car with a bit of surfing, relax on the beach. We're focused on winning races, championships, but there's also a, a message to be sent out. It's a cool image for the new team, to be honest. It's something that's not been done in Formula 1 before, definitely. We've got two young drivers, myself obviously being one, and I think we've got good energy to the team. To show off the new car like this is... Uh, different and it's cool. This stunt is very um, important for Renault because Renault is back in F1 as a team. For Renault Sport Racing this is an embodiment of our passion for life, how we want to enjoy everything we're doing around this sport and hopefully people will appreciate and, and see this and really get the vibe that we're putting out there with the team. And action time.